So this is just the prep work for the double frame and floating frame soap. I am going to be doing um, honey bean. This is, I've scented this in butter maple oats and honey from nature's garden. And so hence the brown and gold theme. I have some honey pot um, embeds for the inside once we make the frame. And I think it will all pull together um, quite nicely. So again, you've seen me make a lot of ombres. I have the tutorial on double and multiple multicolored ombres. I will link them. So go check those out if you haven't seen them. I am doing brown as my dark color, gold as my light color. I've done a third to two thirds or basically almost a 70-30 split. And now I'm just gonna go back and forth adding a little bit of gold until we're all done. So I will speed this up and then come back tomorrow once this is um, solid and we will cut the frame. And I will show you how to create the double and floating frame. To cut the frame for this, it's the same basic concept as the single frame, only we're going to be cutting three frames and each one's going to get progressively smaller. So the first frame, just like the single, will be on the outside. The second frame is what's going to be used for our floating frame. This one is definitely challenging to, to make. And then the third frame is going to be the inside of this one. What will be left over will be this little bit of soap um, when it's all said and done. So these are triple ombres that I, I did. Um, I put my little tulips in there. I'm going to use the little honey pots um, in this design, but basically the same concept, same idea. So just like I did with the single frame, I am going to cut the bottom, then the top, then each side. And I'm going to make sure that I keep track of, you know, make sure I keep them in order as to the sides um, so that the ombre doesn't get messed up. Um, so I'm just trim it off a little bit of this edge. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll cut the first frame, which we'll put in here, and will be this. Then I'm gonna cut this one, and I will show you how I assemble it, and tips and tricks I've learned. Um, it, the floating frame is, is it's hard. Um, I, I think I've kind of figured out what what will give me the best odds of getting a frame that is actually a frame and not <laughs> shifting or moving or falling apart. So we'll see if I'm actually successful with this batch. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just cut. And I will... I'm, I'm repeating this process three times. That's, that's all I'm doing. So let's cut the base. Then 
there's my base. Basically looks brown. Tad bit of gold coming into the. That's going to sit down here because that's my outside frame. Now I'm going to flip this over. So this is the way I, I, I'm putting it in. I'm going to flip this over so that I know which piece is the top or which way the ombre is going basically. And you keep, you need to keep that. And I'm just gonna slice my top. So there's my bottom. There's my top. I'm just gonna lay that there. Now I'm going to slice this side. So I'm going to flip this and cut the side. Hmm, look at that. That one's going to go in here. So now I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to now slice this side. I said you, you're creating a, a box, right? So you just want to make sure that you're cutting the box and placing the pieces correctly. Okay. So. There is the other side. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see it. It looks washed out on my screen, but hopefully it's not. That's really pretty. So that one goes here. So I have the bottom two sides and my top. And now I'm left with this. I'm going to repeat it. This is the bottom, right? So I'm simply going to do the same thing. And that's going to be my floating frame. This is how this is all, you know, going to go together. I will assemble that momentarily. Here's what we're left with. Now I'm going to create the one more frame, which is going to be the floating <laughs> frame. So just repeat the same concept, exact same thing each time you make this frame. I'm just going to go ahead, speed that up, do this, and then come back and give you tips and tricks tips and tricks on how to assemble, best assemble all the pieces, um, as well as um, how I get the frame to stay floating so that I get hopefully equal space between. Okay, so this is what I'm left over with, right? So I'm using up a good chunk of my soap. What I'm going to do now is take this and I'm going to cut one more slice because I'm going to use these pieces kind of as anchors for my, um, when I place these. So, cause this is the same width, right? As all of these pieces so it will help me. So I'm going to set this aside. This is a piece we're going to use. Now that I have everything cut I'm going to move everything off the table and I'm going to show you how I assemble um, all the pieces and then once that's done I'm going to go prep the soap and come back and we will make soap. Okay so I'm a Basically just kind of anchoring the sides in, um, putting some distilled water on, and then just 
pushing them down and into place. Now, I am going to pre-assemble the boxes, the floating box and the double box um, for the sides. I will not put the top on, obviously, because I'm going to be putting pieces inside, plus I need to get the soap and filled. So I do this ahead of time and I let it kind of the water kind of dry and actually anchor these in because um, the goal is hopefully once I put it inside here which is challenging I'm using a tall and skinny it's definitely more challenging um, with the tall and skinny but I like the look of the tall and skinny so um, that's why I'm I'm doing this I would recommend probably a regular standard loaf mold to start. Um, I think it will be a little bit easier. You'll have more room to actually put your hands in and, and maneuver things. So yeah, just painting the distilled water and getting Okay, so then this top will go on like that and we have our second frame. Now when I pour this, I have made two honey pots. So this is a large which will go inside the floating frame. And then this is a mini, which, oops, as I squish things, um, will go inside here. So that's the plan. Um, now, remember that extra piece? So when I make this, so this, this batch will cut 10 equal bars. My larger five pound mold gives me some little end pieces and so I don't actually lose soap. But with this mold, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna cut off a small amount. And I'm going to set that inside here at the very end and I'm going to do the same thing for the other end. What this is doing is creating a shelf for this to sit on. So it will not sink down. It will keep that frame. Now, what that means is when I cut this, I'm going to have to cut cut it so that I have little in pieces here that I lose. I won't get 10 full bars, I'll get nine full bars and then little in pieces that will have those on. That's okay, I, all my in pieces um, get put into grab bags so the soap won't get wasted. I just won't get four or 10 full bars, I'll only get nine. And that's okay. Um, this way at least I ensure that this piece will not float down right and sit on the bottom now there are two ways that you can do this you can pour soap in and then once this dries pick this up and try and place it in or once this dries you can place it in and then pour your soap in and hope that you fill in the void underneath I have, I've been mostly successful at putting soap in, picking this up and putting it in. It, but it, it's a challenge. Um, but I also don't want to get air gaps, like, so that's why I've been doing it that way. So you can play with it and see which you think works better for you. It's, again, you can do either way. Now, this is the floating frame, which again, I'm going to assemble 
And this one I am going, once it, dry, it dries, I am going to place it in here. I have tried pouring the soap and then picking this up and placing it in and it always falls apart. Um, this is probably my best attempt at getting this frame in and it shifted to the side. Um, I have others that are not as, they're much worse. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try this time basically, again, I just, this is that extra piece I cut and I am just cutting off two little pieces and I'm going to put them down in there. And then once this is kind of basically dried once we put it together, then I'm going to put it in before I pour and then I'm going to put the soap under and hope that it fills it. Um, especially with this tall and skinny, I cannot get my hands in to get, to get that soap um, in place without it falling apart. So same thing here, just painting it with distilled water, lining it all up to create the box. And then I'm going to let this basically just dry. So hopefully it sticks together somewhat. It's still fragile. It will still fall apart if you're not careful, but it will be a little more um, solid, I guess, a little more as one piece if you let the water kind of dry the pieces together. So, yeah, and then this will go on top and that will be the floating frame. I'm going to go ahead, make the soap and come back and we will attempt to make these and see how well they come together and if I can succeed at actually getting a frame that doesn't fall apart for the floating frame. It's challenging. It's fun. I, I, I get frustrated sometimes, but I also have fun making it. So I'm like, it's a challenge and I've learned a lot. It's taken me numerous tries, but I think I have kind of figured out a system. So yeah. Let's see if I can get this one in any better or nope. I already feel it's falling apart. Please go in, please go in, please go in. <gasps> nope. I did say this was challenging. Is, um, you know what? I'm not even, I don't know if this is really centered, but I'm not even going to try and shift this because all I can see is bad things happening. Um, again, I'm trying to fill along the sides that narrow gap and put a little in the center and more along the side so that this, the frame, like right there, doesn't push and move. And I failed. Not going to get air gaps this time, like the black and gray music notes. I will overfill this and scrape soap out if I have to. Okay. Please ignore the train in the background. Let's put this on. Okay, I have some overfill, so I think that's a good sign. I hope that's a good sign. This is the floating frame. I tried to put it in and it all fell apart. This is 
what usually happens. And the more I tried to push it, like get it and move it around and stuff, it was sagging. And so I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get the 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 soap under it because it was sagging so much so I just took it all out and I'm just like it's probably gonna move um but I'm just gonna try and place it as best I can hope for the best I told you the floating flame was frustrating there are probably other ways I could assemble this to get it to stay better but This is what I'm going with. And now the goal is to get enough soap in the middle and then on the sides that it won't put... Ah! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I have this big embed I need to try and get in as well. Um, wish me luck. Oh my gosh, that went so wrong. I'm pretty sure this just sunk to the bottom. It also pushed the sides. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not awful at all. <laughs> the frame is mostly together and it's pretty even all in all and I love the ombre. Look at that double box ombre. It just, I don't know, there's something about the double frame I really like. It's, I think it's, you know, one ombre and then another ombre and the, it's slightly different because we're cutting and we're getting smaller. So I'm more inside the loaf when I'm making the smaller box. And so you can tell they go together, but the ombre pattern is just slightly, a little darker to lighter here and a little just lighter brown. I don't know, I just, I really like it. I think that turned out really well, all things considering the frame basically stayed together. Um, the top didn't go on perfectly. There's a little bit there, but I mean, in the big scheme of things, it's really cool. My honey pot. I like the um, speckled look that you get from adding the oats to this. And Cut this okay so you can see the end of this floating frame and I don't know what the inside's gonna be but it actually doesn't look awful it's awful little you can also see that um those two pieces I put in that so that I could sit it on because of that I'm going to cut them off so they're not in it so they like said this bar this loaf can actually give me ten bars but I'm gonna get nine bars and um, two end pieces so it's floating up <laughs> it's, it, it's okay um, it, it's it's square it's just floating up the end pieces are a little bit better. It's like the middle, it looks like. Um, 
it floats up the most, but the honey pot I love. I added ground oatmeal to it and I, I like it. Like this whole just earthy look. So that was the end piece. You can see it's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I've yet to get a floating frame. Um, that's perfect. Now, it's okay. It by no means affects the soap. Um, I love this honey pot and I think it's cute. I like the ombre too. It's just, it's all earthy, subtle. So this is the end. And you can see the two end pieces <laughs> um, did okay with the frame basically staying and then it kind of separated.